Will bait it funny. Rebel 1. Action! I don't really want to invoke the M word, but it's kind of getting to the point where I have to. It was a big honkin' difference between Guilty Gear and Guilty Gear X. And a less pronounced but still significant difference between X and XX. And then Sharp Reload came and changed how Robokai worked, and then there was Slash and Accent Core and Accent Core Plus. And then everything changed when we went to Blaze Blue. Everything except this tendency to refine and re refine and re re refine the mechanics with each successive iteration without adding too much of anything else at the same time. In light of this, I fear it's time to bust it out. The M word, earned by Blaze Blue for the release of Blaze Blue Continuum Shift Extend, Madden. I struggle to find a better word to describe this phenomenon. And don't get me wrong, each installment is designed to bring the game closer and closer to optimal balance, and I can appreciate that. I salute the effort to nip infinite combos or fix broken attacks. The worst thing that happens to any game is its own players, because players work on a level of intimacy that game testers can only dream of. In essence, they're two sides of the same coin, save for the fact that the actual gaming public have infinitely more time to destroy the mechanics than any QA unit. So I can understand the need to produce a new game at set intervals, especially given the extremely competitive world of fighting gaming. But for Joe Lack of Arcade Stick at home, is there any particular benefit to this version over the last version? Or the one before that? Or the one before that? Three, two, one, action! The primary selling points of BBCSX, which is nearly getting as gratuitous as GGXX Carrot Core, are the inclusion of all the previous versions DLC characters right out of the box, the addition of horrible, horrible dad Relius Clover, the Abyss Mode, previously featured in the portable versions of Continuum Shift 2, and Unlimited Mars Mode, which throws you into battle against CPU opponents with Jedi reflexes and AI so advanced it'll see your feeble human thought processes as an infectious disease. And then it will eliminate you. But if you want that elimination with a side of materialism, there's also a special edition that includes an art book and a soundtrack, two of the more awesome aspects of this franchise. For pretty much every other aspect of the game, well, just watch any of the other Blaze Blue reviews I've already done. Go on, I'll wait. I wouldn't call Continuum Shift Extend a priority above, you know, food and shelter, but if you've not yet obtained Blaze Blue in any form, might as well pick this one. Continuum Shift offered the option of upgrading to CS2 as DLC, though, and I get the feeling this is where the trend is going to end up after some time. Granted, DLC doesn't come with art books and soundtracks. It's the definitive version, at least, for the next five minutes or so. Now, go back to waiting patiently for Skullgirls like the rest of us. And Persona 4 Arena, now that that's confirmed for the States. Che versus Mitsuru, hell yes! Here comes a new challenger. You were just as excited about the meat buns as everybody else. Don't even try to front, girlfriend. 